Donny Osmond, 64, took to Twitter today to honor his late father, who died at the age of 90. Remembering his service while stationed in England during World War II, the musician said he felt grateful to have a father like George. Donny shared a picture of George looking smart in his military gear with his 205,900 followers this evening. He captioned the image, as we honor the men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice while serving in all branches of the U.S. military, let's take a moment today and be grateful for those who helped preserve our freedoms. My father was one of the fortunate few who didn't lose his life during the war while stationed in England, but he did put himself in harm's way many times so we could have a safer life. I'm grateful to be able to call Sergeant Osman my father. I miss him dearly. Donnie's father George died back in 2007 at the age of 90 after a long life as patriarch to his talented musical family. Donnie's fans took to the comments section to send their best wishes to the Osman Brothers star. Thank you for his service in the military, church and to the fans, wrote Georgiana. Handsome man he was, added Tina Belair. While Fran commented, that's a wonderful photograph of him. Your family can be very proud of him and his service. I can see why your mother fell for him. He was a very handsome man. George married his wife, Olive, in 1944 and she died three years before him in 2004. The couple were the parents of nine children, with Alan, Wayne, Merrill and Jay being the first to become famous as the Osman brothers. Donnie joined the group at the age of six later rising to stardom as a teen heartthrob. He would also go on to host the Donnie and Marie show with his younger sister Marie. Veteran George went on to serve missions for the Mormon Church in Hawaii and the United Kingdom after his military service. He additionally worked in real estate, insurance sales and was once even the postmaster for the city of Ogden before giving it all up to manage his successful children's singing careers. George had an astonishing 55 grandchildren and 48 great-grandchildren in total. Memorial Day is a national holiday observed in the United States on the last Monday in May, which in this case is today. It is a day when Americans honor the men and women who died fighting in America's wars.